All right, folks, welcome back. I have picked up. Uh, let's see, I've got the flea man here. Hops around madly. I've got the catoblepas, which breathes a petrifying cloud into the air. Not great breathing. Um, picked up the ectoplasm, which is immunity to curses. Where is rack? Knee and snares enemies using a sticky web. A la Spider Man. Uh, do, 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 do. Where'd that flea man go? And that actually, <clears throat> when it works and works well, it is a really, really good soul to have. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, Flea Man, when it works and works well, is a really good soul. When it doesn't work, it's really, really horrible. Here's your knife. Uh, Durga. Upgrade to the knife. Much more expensive. <clears throat> I don't think it's really that much better. That one kind of sucks. I didn't go back and get the zombie officer because... I I think we're gonna come up to one. Also, the ectoplasms drop um, uncursed potions. And there I go, fast forwarding again. I need to not do that. I like grinding I did for the skull archer, and there's a soul. Bam, right there. Oop, more talking. Hey, you're... you're Soma, aren't you? You must be him. I'm not even gonna attempt. Uh, yes, but who are you? Oh, forgive me. I'm Yoko Belnades. Take a look at her picture. Take a look at the name. And now read that she's a member of the church. How would a member of a church recognize me? You've met Aluka, I mean Genya, Aracado, right? Ah, uh, that's dumb. I did meet him, but he told me about you and asked me to help you if you were in trouble. Aracado said that? That's hard to believe. Well, he may seem cold at first, but he's actually quite a decent guy. He may be looking out for you because you share the same dark powers. Wait, wait, did you say my powers are dark? I thought stealing souls would be good. Oh, you mean you didn't know that? Uh, oh no, did I say something? I, well, what's said is said. Essentially, you have the power to rule over and command monsters. To rule over monsters? I have no desire to do that. It comes as naturally as breathing for you, so you may not realize it yet. And though I called it a dark power, that doesn't mean it's evil. No, 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 it's like a weapon. Its user decides whether to use it for good or evil. Well, when you put it that way, I feel a bit better. Soma Cruz. Easily... There was a word for it. Oh, well. Since I got this power, I've begun to lose sense of self. You are yourself. There's no one else you could be. Don't second guess yourself. Be confident. That's most important. I think I understand now. Thanks, Yoko. Yee, I'm not used to being thanked by people. Oh, I forgot to ask you, have you seen a man named Graham? Graham? Yeah, I met him earlier. Be wary of that man. I believe he will inherit Dracula's powers. No way. He did not look like a bad guy. Right, and I've got a bridge to sell you. Don't be fooled by his appearance. He's not who you think it is. Uh, all right. <coughs> no one under the age of, like, 25 is going to get that bridge joke. I must be going. I've got to find Graham. See you around. Do -de -do -de -do. I work for the church. Look, my dress is slit all the way up to my hip bone. This guy's a pain in the ass. I was going to tell you that. So is this guy. But that guy... He's a bigger pain in the ass. He's not going to be fun to grind from. I did not grind from him off screen because the cutscene with Yoko. Just going to direct it across here. I think that there is secrets in this room. Nope. There's secrets in a room around here somewhere. Skull star man to go away. Boss fight. It 
is Trixie. Yeah, because that just looks like a good idea. Damn it. I hate how inconsistent the AI is on some of these enemies. Which is I can get later. The whip sword. This is an interesting weapon. It's not very strong, but it has range, which we actually will want coming up in this boss fight, just across the hallway. Thanks, mouth. You're welcome. All right, we're not gonna go in there just yet. We have more exploring to do. Oh, we need to go all the way over to the left and then down. This is really not a very good weapon because it's a very slow. But the range makes it nice. Ewer shows up in this room for some reason. Now, if I remember right, we can't actually do anything over there just yet. So. That's for later. Save room. <coughs> Shave the James. That almost hit me. I need to stop doing that because I get hit every damn time. Ooh, mind that. That'll be useful later. And by later, I mean much later. his soul later. Um, there's a better place to grind them than there. Alright, boss time. And what do you think we got? Yeah, armor. what he was going to do before he does it. If only he telegraphed his attacks in some way. Dude's better off just kicking me. That was bad. That was me. You know what? I'm gonna try. Where is it? There it is. Not even close to you, buddy. No! Damn it! I'm gonna need to heal, I think. Nope. <sighs> Health. Uh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? <clears throat> a child? You're a rude grandpa. Oh, my apologies. My name's Hammer. The army ordered me to come here. Inside this eclipse. Hi, I'm Soma. Thought I was inspecting a shrine, but suddenly I was in a castle. Don't you think that's a mean thing to do to a guy? So I just bailed my mission. That's smart. What do you mean? There were a bunch of strange people gathered at the shrine. I thought they'd be good customers, so I opened up a shop. Ah, good for you. 
There are weapons all over this castle and no monsters at the front gate. Good place for a shop. Come on by, I'll give you a good deal. See you around. <laughs> <coughs> Bye, G.I. Joe. As he shuffles on out. The shop, huh? I don't get it. Malfoss gives us double job. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So many things are now open to us, viewers. We will be going and seeing Hammer at his shop. That's why, partly why I'm fine with doing all this extra grinding, because any extra items I get, I can sell at the shop. It's also why we have money. Money. I'll get you someday. That, you jerk. Wah! I like me a double jump, viewers. We're gonna save after that incredibly difficult boss fight. Remember, we're on hard mode, viewers. I'm sure you've noticed how hard this game is. Well, there's something I was gonna do in this room, and I didn't do it when we started the video, so I'll do it now. Come here. Kaiser Knuckle and Melon. Kaiser Knuckle is a weapon that only appears in hard mode. Uh, initially, it's not very strong. Range is kind of crappy, but it has the chance to hit multiple times. We're going to be sticking with it for a little while. Because I like it. Multiple hits, plus the big hitbox makes it useful. It's element neutral. That makes a funny noise. He should have gone... That's just me. up there, but I want that sword. So here's what we're going to do, viewers. Let me use a little fast forward. Heart pendant. Increases luck. We'll take it. I'm not too concerned about defense. I want this sword that's over here. Forgive the fast forward, but it takes so long to push that. That's eh, not the sword I thought it was. See, if it would give me a soul on level up, I would have got a soul right there. Explored that area plenty. Winged skeletons, that was the first soul we got in the game, so I'm not going to be too you know, concerned about picking them up. One of the rare instances where you don't see a Durga on a staircase. And there's a hammer. 
seem to recall there being something in one of these rooms. Could be wrong, though. And we didn't bother to come this way because we couldn't get the hammer without the double jump, so... This is where I'm going to grind my student witch soul. Bastard sword and broadsword. Bastard sword. Attack 47. Broadsword. So I'm going to grind my student witch souls here. Um, because there's two of them and it's a relatively quick and easy room to go in and out of. So I'll see you back here in a moment. Finally. The student witches. Uh, that did take a long time, by the way. Not, not, not just BS in the viewers. Uh, the student witches will also sometimes drop mind ups and cream sodas. Cream soda restores some health. Kinda nice. Now, Durga's here also drop something, I believe. We have two drops. Um, I'll be getting those probably off screen later. Oops. Gotta stop doing that. I get in the habit of fast forwarding when I'm doing grinding, and I need to not be in that habit. You, I need your soul. There's a better place to grind you. I don't have that damn screen, screen transition to deal with. Oops. Anyway, now that I've got my double jump, I can do that. I would grind from zombie officers here, but I've got damn winged skeletons I'd have to deal with. So I picked up that bastard sword and the broadsword. Um, the combat knife? Still stronger than both of them. Um, but the Kaiser Knuckle here, still the better weapon to go with. Uh, the Kaiser, excuse me, the Combat Knife was doing 48 damage per single hit to the uh, Student Witches. Two hits, one, one individual punch. Not, not two hits, but one punch of the, the knuckle does 25. Well, was doing 25. And since it hits twice, I was getting 50. So, I have explained addition and or multiplication to you. This is our teleporter. This will teleport us to different places in the castle. And they show up on your map as a yellow room. I remember wrong. I was pretty sure though there was a secret in a room like this somewhere. Oh well. I don't need to worry about the ghost dancers. My phone is a ringing. I don't know who it is. <coughs> so we're just gonna ignore it. I still need your soul. You're going, buddy. Yep. Die. So annoying. We're gonna deal with him later. There will be a, another room uh, with two of them in it. And that's where we'll do it. Quetzalcoatl, or Quetzalcoatl. If you want to pronounce it one way above the other. It's fine with me. We'll do our grinding for him somewhere else. But we're done in the, uh, that section. Let's see, get our health back. I hate, I hate those tiny devils so much. I love the soul they give me, but I just hate fighting them.
I could have taken the teleport. Um, but there are things I can do walking back. <coughs> Excuse me, now that I can double jump. Yeah, let's see. Nothing for a little while. I just need to go straight across, and then when I get a chance to go up, go up. Save. Still can't get the sword that's out on that ledge yet. And it's kind of ridiculous, because by the time you can get it, you're going to have, like, four weapons better than me. until we enter a large room. We will get a soul later. Again, almost so late that it's stupid. Um, that makes rooms like this so easy. There's actually two souls that we could get. One's a little better for it than the others. Alright, now that we have the double jump, we can start doing things in rooms like this. This is the way we need to go. It's a killer doll. I will be grinding killer dolls later in another location. It's because I like killing peeping eyes. Especially after making me grind for as long as it did. I really like this weapon. Can I tell you that? This is the room we can do our little bit of sequence breaking in. Um, I'm not going to. We're going to head back to the beginning. I don't care about you. souls to be had here, as well as some items. One of those items, over here, <clears throat> a lance. Strongest weapon uh, so far. Stronger than the combat knife. But slow. I'd rather have something that's a little weaker and faster than something slow and powerful when it comes to action-y type games. It's a siren. They have a soul we would like to have. Everything has a soul we would like to have. <coughs> Excuse me. Because, you know, we're shooting for 100% here. new area. Not where we want to be, I can tell you that. Dance Hall. This is where we're going to grind our Minotaur souls and our Quetzalcoatl souls. But we're not going there yet. So we have sequence breaking to do first. <coughs> I 
<laughs> Excuse me. I'm not gonna grind from sirens here. There's a better place to grind sirens. Son. Jerk. <clears throat> Goodness gracious, I do apologize. Punch. Punch. Devil Soul like really early if we wanted to keep going through that door transition. <clears throat> we'll be back to the reservoir later and we will be spending a lot of time in the reservoir. We kind of have two or three different places we could go right now. Um, only one of them is the correct way to go because we will need the items and abilities from, you know, the others to make it happen. Now that we can double jump, we can go up here. And there's our teleporter. This is where the one we saw in the study would drop us off. This is where our two zombie officer. It's a decent place to grind them. Still not, I think, the best place, but it's alright. weapon out there that we can't get yet. With all I think they can curse you. I'd rather not touch them and find out. That's all we can do in here. Cestus. That is the first official punching weapon you get in the normal game. It's not very good. It's slow. Not super slow. It's about as quick as a uh, dagger. But why would you take that when you can do this? <clears throat> All right, outside at last. Welcome back, Soma. Hey. What? That man over there. Who? You mean Hammer? His name's Hammer, huh? Don't you think he's a little scary? I think he's a decent guy. But look at all those weapons he has over there. He told me he was opening up his own shop. Here? He's opening a shop in this castle? He's weird. You're nine. Yeah, it's pretty strange. But if you say that he's a good guy, I'll believe you. And she fills up my health and says something to me in Japanese. Out of there you came. Is this where you've opened your shop? Yes, yes it is. By the way, that cute young lady over there. She's staring at you. Is she your friend? Yeah. Oh, I had no idea you were so popular with the ladies. I mean, I've only seen one lady since I've been here, and she's looking at you. But, hey, it's not like that. Don't be shy now, here. It's good to be young. It's a good thing. All right, back to business. Take a look around, friend. All right, we're going to sell stuff. And that is more of Hammer's face than I ever wanted to see. I don't need the knife anymore. I don't need that. I'm going to hand with the combat knife because it's a decent weapon. I don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I don't want those. I don't want the lance. I don't want the cestus. Now, the problem with the shop in this game is it shows you things that you have equipped that you can sell that, you know, maybe you don't want to. So. And he won't buy my, that rotten, excuse me, rotten meat from me, jerk. I 
need a castle map number two. Potion, mind up, and venom lookers. Combat knife. The katana is a pretty decent weapon. Um, it's okay. And now here's the important stuff. Armor. And, and he will get more stuff as the game goes on. The copper plate has a little more defense than the war fatigues, but the war fatigues increase attack, defense, and strength, so I'm going to buy war fatigues. Exit. Equip the war fatigues. And we sell the leather plate. And there we go. I'm going to head back to the save point, just over down to the bottom right. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. I think we can do something here. Lucky charm. I said we're trying to go for 100% of the map, too, so... back and try that again. I don't know if I've ever really looked. Nope. That would be a good place to hide something, though. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna head over there, save, call it a video. In fact, I'll just call it a video now. You don't need to see me walk all the way back over there and save. So, I will see you guys next time when we go and do more exploring and probably do that sequence breaking I finally talked about. Oh yeah, lucky charm. So, anyway, I will see you next time viewers. Thank you for watching. By the way, mermen give you the ability to spit water, yet they spit fire. Who oh, no. knew?